depot is well guarded by the Red Hand. The Order has a stake in these stocks. What are you doing? You're Seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. <laughs> so the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. Hear me, friend. I have a hole of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls, eager to spend my gains? You wanna let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. I'll be gone! There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the Needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at night. We will go see him together. Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the Needle. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver pass through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master. Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Ah. Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Who, me? <laughs> Please. I've a bigger sword than a lot of them. Hey friend, I have a hoard of silver I'm aching to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around, you'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. Have you any wine for sale? There's nary a drop in town. Sorry. Sorry, I was late. The lady. You know how it is. I could just hurry, will you? But the last this feast is the talk of. I follow them. They should lead me to the needle. Best not to draw attention here. This is the statue the child talked about. Now to find the hidden key. Found the key. Now to locate the hideout. <gasps> Empty carts and a black cloth marking the house. This is the place. Locked.
must be another way in. All this silverware, some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well?
I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dock in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn, shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You're a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. Wait a minute! Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory! Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. They will attack on sight here. I do the thinking, you do as you're told. It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky. Hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house. Gave me hearty meals. A warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand. Showed me kindness. Compassion. 
And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the Vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt, and I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be tears waiting for you.